Hi, it's Kernel Tex here with a video about how to uh, configure packages on Manjaro Mika 20.1.2 to allow you to build Linux from scratch 10. So specifically this is about the host system requirements in chapter 2.2 .2 of the Linux from scratch book. Um, what I'll do first is I'll get that page up on the web browser so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'll just go to the Linux from Scratch website. and it's this link here, host system requirements. So as you can see, the um, packages that are required to successfully build Linux from scratch are here with the minimal version that's required and a script that you can run to verify that those packages are indeed installed. Um, now, because I'm doing these videos on various different uh, distributions, what I'm going to do is to just make this window a little bit bigger. Um, I'm just going to mount a partition that's got that script on it already to save me having to copy and paste it onto each distribution I'll do so. First of all I'll become the root and I'll mount uh, this partition and I'll run it now. So this is exactly the same as the one that's in the book. It's just that rather than copy and paste, I've already created it as a file. And you can see straight away that there's several packages that are not installed. So binutils is missing, bison is missing and so on. So what I'll do first of all then is to uh, just check this bin bash is set up. Yeah, most distributions um, don't have bash set up so that one is one that I don't need to do but we use pacman minus s and then bin utils to install the first package and we'll just press enter there to install bin utils and that's done so what I'll do now is I'll rerun the script and should find that yeah bin utils is now successfully installed so that's okay. So the next one I'll do is um, Bison and install that one. The reason why I'm doing this one at a time is in case the packages pull in some of the other missing packages that are due to install. So Bison's installed. It's also installed the symlink for Yak so that's fine. So the next one we've got to do is GCC. So again we do pacman minus s GCC. I'll just wait for that to download and install. And again rerun the script. And that's actually installed GCC and the G, uh, the C++ compiler, G++. So, um, as I say, rather than running uh, and install and specifying everything, we've only just you know run the uh, Pacman once for each package, and it's, it's done some of the other packages for us. So the next two I've got left look like make and patch. So let's do make first. Tiny little package and rerun the script. That's now done. So, last of all, we can do patch. And that's done. So, run the script one last time. I'll just take a bit more notice about all the lines here to ensure there's nothing, none that I've missed. And looks to be 
all there. So the only other thing you'd have to do is to check the versions of these package against those that are in the book to make sure they're equal to or greater than the versions mentioned here. Um, and then you'd be able to carry on building Linux from scratch as is um, this system that is ready to, to build. So I um, hope you find this video useful. useful. If you do, please like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.